Chapter 2, motion training, perfect 10. Now, a lot of times whenever we go to the top of the backswing, we have something called a flying right elbow, club crossing line, broken left arm. Well, your pro will come up and basically tell you to rotate your arm, and they'll tell you to hold the pizza, catch the rain, hold the tray. Absolutely correct. But what the skill is behind that is we, our arm will rotate from 90 to 110. So we'll actually externally rotate 20 degrees. So <clears throat> from this position here, if you're a visual person, and if you see that I'm in a big clock, and you see this is 12, this is 6, this is 3, and this is 9, this would be 12, this would be 11, and this would be 10. Now again, we're going to first do everything flat, then we're going to invert. So if I go flat and start to turn, let the right palm go to the sky, of course, left arm will straighten, and if I invert 31, 33 degrees, you can see that my club head, or my thumbs, are going to about 10 o'clock. So if I was going to 12 o'clock, my right arm would fall, flare, 11 o'clock, and 10 o'clock. And again, biomechanically, we're not focused on the club head or the face, because that's going to follow what the hands do. So if we see that the thumbs go to 10 o'clock, then the club faces go to 10 o'clock. So how do we take that? into a golf posture. Again, we want to be hip joints versus knee joints. We're going to putt, we're going to fold, and we're going to take our thumbs to 10 o'clock. So again, we're going to putt, we're going to fold. If I took my hands to 12 o'clock, you can see the, the effect. But if I can putt, fold, and turn, take my hands to 10, perfect 10, 